This piece here is called the early set or pre-set wall, and uh, for students who have problems with the way they hinge their wrists, this is a good thing to use. So go ahead, tie and take your setup. Basically, it just sets into this base right here. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to have Ty go ahead and start your backswing to right here again. So we're going to get the measurement. Uh, it also has a little what I call kind of a flapper on here. So we're going to kind of uh, put that behind where his club would be. And now I'm going to move this out. And basically what you want to do, let me borrow your club for a minute, if you just stay right there, is if I lay this club on the ground, we want this club to be about exactly one club length from the wall okay so obviously if we were using a longer club this would be a different distance so if I just have him take his normal stance put the club here which is about right the club is right at the end of the wall <clears throat> that would allow him then or force him to set the club a little early so go ahead and do that one more time come right back to here now since he's pretty tall we're gonna have to move this up okay so that if he the, would come in contact with it then it's going to let him know that he's not hinging. Uh, also the flapper if he tries to take it inside it serves the purpose of not letting the club head go inside. So this is a great piece for <clears throat> hinging the wrist. Go ahead and do it again. Go ahead and hinge it. So he's not only is he hinging his wrist but he's hinging it on time. Now go to the top of your swing. <clears throat> now come down as he comes down and the club once again the club is going to move closer to him so it's out of the way of his downswing. All right, so let's say you had somebody who hinged too early. Go ahead and hinge it real early and get real narrow if you do that. So what you could do on this also is you could put it in place where you wanted the student, <clears throat> if you wanted them to have more of a one-piece takeaway and don't hinge the wrist, you could move the wall <clears throat> a little bit further away. So this time I want you just to kind of scrape it a little bit. Go slow, okay? You got to keep it a little bit more on plane there. There you go. So he could actually have him try to brush it on the way back. Wow. All right. Yeah. So you got to go ahead. There you go. So that would be a super wide takeaway. In our teaching philosophy, go ahead and do it again. We like to have him go ahead and have the hands hinged just outside the left thigh. So that would be about the right placement again. I'll slide that in just inside the line of the toes. All right, now go ahead and let's make a swing and hinge it. And go ahead and swing right on through. Okay, so you, <clears throat> you hit the little flap, so it got a little bit inside. So now go ahead and do it again and hinge and keep the club out. Excellent. 